An Arizona Senate panel approves a bill that bans medical providers from performing abortions due to a genetic abnormality such as Down syndrome. The bill was approved last week by a Republican majority state Senate panel. Republican State Senator Nancy Bardo, who sponsored the bill, says it's important to make, quote, fixes to our laws to protect the most vulnerable among us. The bill is expected to pass on the Senate floor. Joining us now via Skype is Arizona Republican State Senator Nancy Bardo. Thank you for being here with us. Can you tell us why you decided to sponsor this pro-life bill and what else needs to happen for it to become law in Arizona? Well, thank you very much for having me. Um, yes, I, well, you know, it's been clear that throughout the world and in, in the United States, more and more children with disabilities are being singled out for abortion and they are the most vulnerable among us. It's, it's um, estimated that about 67% of children uh, with, with disabilities are snuffed out in, uh, by abortion in the United States. In some countries, it's much worse. This bill, 14, um, 1457, Senate Bill 1457, will make that illegal to uh, simply target these vulnerable uh, children with genetic abnormal, uh, anomalies for abortion uh, solely because of their disability. Um, it does several other very important things as well, but, you know, just handling this thing alone will save so many unborn children that are at risk in Arizona. Uh, to your question uh -huh. about what needs to happen next, well, it needs to go to the full Senate floor, where I'm sure we'll have a very robust debate about the bill and why these children are at risk and why women um, need to make sure that they have every opportunity to, uh, to save those children in the United States and in Arizona in particular. Absolutely. Can you explain, if enacted, what kind of repercussions would happen if an abortionist went against it and aborted a baby with Down syndrome or because of another condition? Well, it'd be the same penalty as if a physician was um, uh, performing an abortion for uh, for racist reasons uh, or for sex selection. Those criminal penalties would be the same as for this. The measure that you introduced and sponsored also requires that the remains of unborn children be buried or cremated, and it grants civil rights to the unborn. Tell us more about that aspect. Well, you know, the, the unborn children are little human beings at conception. Science backs that up. Biology backs that up. And they deserve uh, to have their remains honored. And so this just makes sure to give the woman that opportunity. Uh, the other thing that the, the bill does that's very important, it makes sure that women um, are not uh, provided a medical or a chemical abortion through the mail. Um, you know, those are much more dangerous. Arizona State Senator Nancy Bardo, thank you for your time and for your pro-life leadership at the state level. God bless you. Thank you so much for having me.